So, Carrie, this is a, a, a bit confusing for some of us uh, Floridians because this doesn't this order by the state did not apply to every county and every school uh, jurisdiction. But walk us through what we're hearing today. Well, it's so confusing because the state has mandated the schools need to open. And then you have 67 counties working out their plans on how to reopen. I'm in Broward County. That's where Cooper City is. They're going to open next Wednesday and it will be virtual. Kids will be at home. Teachers may be in the classrooms, but they'll certainly be in front of computers. Uh, In Hillsborough County, which is the Tampa area, they wanted to do the same thing. But the state has not accepted their plan for virtual. They want the teachers to go back in the classrooms, the kids to go back in the classrooms. So there's a back and forth in Tallahassee today before a judge. The judge decided that what he's going to do is, I guess, move it over to mediation, which, again, delays things. And there is a clock ticking. And as the clock ticks, because kids are getting back to school very soon, beginning next week, in some parts of the state already back in school, there's this back and forth rub. So no real answer, one that the Teachers Union says is not only about protecting the kids and the safety, but also for themselves. Let's talk a little bit about where I am right now. I'm inside a school here and imagine that you are going to be doing this virtual sort of learning. I've got a computer here. If I were the teacher talking to the computer, the children on the other end, taking it in really boring, especially on a five hour day. So what they've done here at this charter school is I'm gonna point over here and we're gonna take you to this. This is Charter Schools USA. Uh, This actually happens to be in uh, five states. There are 75,000 students, but this here is called the OWL. And it's a camera, but it doesn't require anybody to actually do anything. It's all automated. So the teacher, is now standing in the classroom, and let's switch over to the owl, and there you can see the teacher is transmitting back to all the kids in this uh, kind of remote teaching environment. But the camera follows, so as the teacher walks around, the camera will eventually, there's a little bit of a lag, the camera will eventually catch up to me, and when it catches up to me, there we go, I can sort of engage the student and bring them up here. And uh, Chuck, I know you're good at math because you do all of our elections. So I put up some of the most complicated (laughs) math problems that I could find on the Internet. But this allows a teacher to... This allows a teacher here to sort of engage a student and bring them along. And now... The kids are at home. We'll sort of give you a demonstration. I'll come over here. And again, the camera's going to catch up to me in a moment. And here I am. And let's say with our cameraman and our sound man, Carlos and Rule, they're the kids at home. If they start making a little bit of noise. Hey, teacher. Hey, teacher. Karen, Karen, Sanders. Sanders. I know the answer. Come on, Sanders. Sanders. <laughs> I know the answer right there. I know the answer. Okay. All of a sudden, the computer brings them in. And now they're engaged as in part of this. And Carlos having a good All time. Right. But you get an idea yes, he of is. trying to visually stimulate things. Because the real problem, of course, here is a kid sitting in front of their computer for five hours at a day. A teacher sitting in front of a computer five hours a day and trying to learn. We do know from the end of last year that teachers say about 30% of their kids at the end of the year essentially stopped learning when this pandemic hit and everybody had to leave, Chuck. No, I, I, first of all, nobody like you, Carrie Sanders, can do a show and tell uh, (laughs) under five minutes any better than you, whether you're going underwater, which you've done for us, or you're doing this, so outstanding. But you're right, this is, but let me ask a, let me ask the real question. How expensive would this be? This is a charter school. We know charters can sort of operate slightly more independently. Broward County Schools, do, do they have the money to buy this in every classroom? Well, you know, the charter schools have uh, about $850 per classroom. They're going to put it in all their classrooms. Uh, They're in, I've got it down here, they're in 88 schools in five states, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, North Carolina, South Carolina. As I mentioned, about 75,000 students. Um, And they probably bought just about every one of these. I mean, this is seemingly new, but also somewhat obscure technology, especially applied in the education system. Uh, But yes, 
Schools themselves are in trouble because they're not sure how they're going to even pay long term now right. for even simple things like sanitizers, masks. And remember, the mask right. I'm wearing right now, this is a homemade mask, but this mask fits me. The schools have to buy masks that fit children. So they have to have smaller right. elastics. They have to they're talking about putting lanyards on them because a the kid drops the mask down when they're eating, drops on the floor. Then they have to look for another one. So they're going to put lanyards. Every one of those little things, when you multiply it by the amount of students, You're talking about some serious money, and this is long-term expenses at a time when, at least in Florida, the taxing system for schools goes through property, and property values are either steady or dropping. It's not a good scenario. No, there's a reason why so many school districts, when forced, have had to pick virtual for now. Anyway, Kerry Sanders uh, in Cooper City, Florida, uh, in Broward County Forest. Kerry, thank you, sir. That was fantastic. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.